Welcome back guys. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today we're going to be doing a video about AMC. Before I start the video guys, please make sure to leave a like on the video below. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Join the family guys. Let's go on our invest journey together. Today we're going to be doing a video about AMC. Do I think AMC stock is going to go through a short squeeze? Do I think right now is a very good time to buy AMC? And what's the overall future for AMC in itself? But before I start the video, guys, I just want to let everybody know that everything I say in my videos is not financial advice. It is just my personal opinion and for educational purposes only. So with that being said, let's get started with the video. So today we're going to be doing a video about AMC. Where do I think AMC is going to be headed from here? Do I still think there is hope for AMC? Is it time to sell AMC stock? I mean, there's been a lot of people talking about AMC over the last couple of months. Um, taking a look at the one-year chart, it's up 552%, even hitting an all-time high here at 62.55 on the chart. But I think its all-time high was $72.55. Looking at the three-month chart, down about 15.81% of its overall value. And looking at the one-month chart, it made a little bit of a recovery, up 31.96%. And looking at the one-week chart, up about 5.50%. Now, let's analyze what's kind of been going on with AMC. So, we have seen a little bit of increase from its overall stock price. I think that's just because there is a lot of people who are still holding AMC stock and a lot of people who are still buying AMC stock. Although, I don't find it currently related to its overall business fundamentals. We know that AMC did get pretty hard hit hard by the pandemic. Obviously, its business model strives on close proximity spaces with coronavirus still running around. You know, this does tank its overall business, although it is recovering, although it is starting to generate a little bit more money than it was at the peak of the pandemic. AMC is still kind of sitting there like luster and above, but people will still continue to buy AMC stock. Why is that? And that's in hopes that AMC stock is going to go through a short squeeze. I've said this in many videos before, I still do think that AMC is going to go through a short squeeze, although you can't really predict when it's going to happen or how it's going to happen. I still do think that AMC stock is going to go through a short squeeze. We do see short float percentage continue to increase on AMC stock. Last time I checked, it was about 21%. You know, so that's a decent amount of shock, uh, shares that are being shorted right now. We know that hedge funds continue to increase their positions in AMC. There was an analyst actually who downgraded the stock the other day to $6. So, you know, they're trying to kind of put that into perspective that there's a lot of bearish analysts out there on AMC who think that the stock is going to tank or the stock is going to go back to six bucks or five dollars or let alone even like zero because a lot of people out there do think that AMC is going to go bankrupt. But nonetheless, whether AMC is going to go bankrupt is not really the topic of discussion for me. I don't think AMC is going to go bankrupt. I think AMC will just be fine. I think it is going to take a little bit longer for AMC to make a full on recovery. That is just due to the simple fact that, you know, its overall business model, like I said, does strive off close proximity spaces, right? You physically have to be in the movie theater, but with streaming services becoming so popular, like Netflix, Disney Plus, Hulu, all this other stuff, and people even dropping movies on these streaming services, it makes the movie theater a little bit more lackluster for me. I still personally like going to the movie theater and watching movies. That's just me personally, but I could understand the business side of it, why AMC is having a little bit harder time of kind of keeping up unless AMC decides to actually innovate in itself. But nonetheless, going back to the overall stock, like I said, looking at the one much are up 31.96%. We did see here that, you know, AMC was trading in the low thirties for a while, has made a little bit of a recovery. And I do predict that AMC is going to continue to head upwards from here. That's just my personal opinion on it. The thing is with meme stocks, and, and it's something that a lot of people don't really know is with these stocks, it's like they never really are going to disappear. And they're always going to have those random surges and random stuff like that. Like I remember, you know, even taking a look at the one month chart here on August 19, 3382, going all the way up to $44 in a single, basically almost a single day. I remember there was just a huge rally and that's because these stocks do have the ability to go 20, 30, 40% in a single day, but they're known to be highly volatile. And like I said, you know, there's still a lot of people who are holding their shares in AMC. And if people didn't believe that AMC was going to go through a short squeeze, then a lot of people would have already sold, which kind of leads into the other point of the video. Is it time to actually sell AMC stock? Like, should you get rid of your position? Obviously, everyone is has the right to do whatever they want. It is their position. They own it for me. I'm still holding it just because you never know what could happen. Like I said, even though it doesn't squeeze, I got into AMC stock super, super early. So for me, it doesn't really matter where it kind of goes up from here. I'm just kind of enjoying the ride. But we know that there's still a lot of big institutional investors who have lots of shares of AMC who are kind of just trying to ride the waves as well. With these, everybody knows, and even a lot of people have weighed in on this, that in today's age, like it's not a very good idea to be on the short side of things because things can quickly explode up in your face and it can make you lose a lot of money. We saw this happen with GameStop as well back in January. 
where, you know, GameStop was trading around $4 a share, went all the way up to $40 a share, and then it started to go through a short squeeze or whatever type of squeeze it was actually going through, which I do feel like GameStop would have squeezed more if a lot of the brokerages didn't limit trading on those days. I remember that day very vaguely. A lot of people were pretty upset that a lot of brokerages did basically withhold people from actually buying more of the share. But we see that these stocks do have the explosiveness and people have been talking about GameStop going through a short squeeze for a long time. I don't think it's any different with AMC. I still do think that AMC stock is going to go through a squeeze, although you cannot predict when it's going to happen, although you can't put a time frame on it. The markets are irrational and you can never really sit there and just kind of wait out the market. But we can take a look at the facts that, you know, there's still people out there who are buying AMC stock. People are still bullish on it. People who are still hoping that one day AMC is going to go through that squeeze while you have the other side, these hedge funds, you know, and all these analysts and these bears who are probably shorting the stock as well putting out price targets, you know, cutting their price targets down to $6, $5, $4, and they continue to short the stock because they genuinely do think that AMC is going to go back down to those prices. But if we take a look at it on paper for me, I know how a lot of retail traders work. We're pretty stubborn as people. We're not going to sell our positions. We're going to sit here and hold. If you take a look at it, there is no justifiable reason why GameStop is still about $200 a share. And we see that GameStop never really fell back down to its four to even $30, $40 mark at all. It hasn't even gotten close. You know, GameStop has been trading in the 20 or $200 range for quite a while now. I do expect the same with AMC where it's going to continue to have these random surges. Like I said, you know, let's say we have another day where AMC grows about 20%, right? That puts AMC back up in the 50s. And this could start some panic with AMC, causing it to kind of go upward again. You know, this time it's definitely going to be a lot harder to get the squeeze out of AMC because the hedge funds learned their lessons the first time. We saw what happened with GameStop. They're not going to be as reluctant to cover their positions as quickly as they did before. So it's going to take a little bit more work to get people to actually buy into AMC or basically force out the squeeze of it out of AMC as well. You guys might know, know my overall price target for AMC. If AMC does squeeze based on how many shares have kind of just been, you know, being shorted on time and time again. I still do think that AMC does have the chance to hit $1,000. That's my personal opinion. That's my personal price target. And that's if we do actually do basically get a squeeze from AMC stock. You know, like I said, really hasn't been doing much, although we did get a little bit of rally over the last month, taking a look at the three month chart down about 15.81%. But generally speaking, kind of just been trading sideways, not really doing anything. This does tend to happen. It's kind of like a consolidation period. So a lot of people take it as okay, just leave the stock alone. And then when people start seeing that upward pressure is when you're going to start seeing a lot more people start buying. And it's just about getting that momentum going. But like I said, that moment could happen at any moment. But with that being said, guys, that's all I really have to say about the video. You guys let me know down in the comments below, guys, what you think of AMC. Do you guys think AMC does have the potential chance to hit $1,000? If you guys own AMC stock, how many shares do you guys own? And what's your average? I'm always very curious to know. With that being said, guys, thank you. Have a great day.